Hey, what's up gamers and tech fans? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I want to talk to you guys about something kind of cool. Now, a lot of us spend lots and lots of money on video games out there. I've dished out hundreds this year alone. I'll probably dish out hundreds next year. If you're like me and you're a hardcore gamer, you're doing the same thing. Now, me personally, I prefer to play my games on Steam. Origin has some issues that I'm still not too happy with. Sometimes they kind of piss me off with only four downloads when I have an EA game. So I think that's terrible. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is probably what I consider to be the best $5 I've ever spent on Steam. That's right, $5 I paid for this game. It's called Defense Grid The Awakening, and if you're into tower defense games, this game is just really the shit. I honestly, I fucking love this game. $5. My son walked in the other day and he was like, Dad, he was like, you played that game for like eight hours. He's like, you don't even play most games that long. And honestly, it's true. Most games, I play them for a little while, get in and I do testing on them. This game, I installed it. And by the way, it'll work on any OS, all the way from XP, all the way to Windows 7. And what you basically do is you have all these crazy ass aliens coming to kill your ass. And what you do is you build all these different type of towers to defend your base and basically all of your computer cores. You guys can check it out right here. Here's a shot of the computer core right here. And these are where these little alien buggers kill you or at least they try to kill you by taking your things and escaping the grid. Right here you can see the front of the grid where all the aliens walk in. Now you can see the back of the grid where all the aliens walk out. Now depending on the missions, you can actually make the aliens go the directions you want and use all kinds of defense strategies to defend yourself. One of the things that we really like is the damn Tesla cannon. The Tesla cannon just rips the shit out of victims, tears them all up. If you have a lot of Tesla cannons, you can really kick the enemy's butt into the ground. I actually filmed some Fraps videos to show you guys a couple different things so you guys can see it. So check it out, folks. Here we are playing some live gameplay. This is on one of the more advanced levels. I've moved it up. This one's kind of crazy. A lot of enemies coming in here. Didn't give you any money or anything else. But still starting off and trying to do it. One thing I like is the ability you guys can just zoom in. You guys see a lot in Fraps too. And over here in the corner, he actually shows you how many frames per second I'm getting. I'm actually filming it, and now I'll stop filming, and you see the frame rate shoot up. It's locked at 60, but everything looks good. Everything plays good. I've had a lot of fun with this game. My system actually is a pretty decked out system, but I'm sure it'll play in any system. Do you guys can see? Everything looks really cool. I've had so much fun with this game. And five dollars, I've had like eight hours of gameplay so far and I've barely scratched the surface of this game. So I have to say, I think it's well worth the money. You get a whole lot of different things over there. We have lots of meter, laser, temporal, media, cannon, the Tesla, which we spoke about earlier. I'll go ahead and show you guys that as we build a Tesla right here on the screen. Here's the Tesla being built. So you'll see this right here. This one I built right here slows the, the guy down. You see this slows him down, and then my other tower shoots him and kicks his butt. Slows him down and gets their butts kicked. But anyways, I'm going to jump back into the game. Defense Grid. The Awakening. The game looks really awesome. It's not the most visually you know, intense thing in the world, but it works on any video card as well. Graphics requirements are really low, and so are PC requirements. And plus, I mean, really the great thing, let's face this. This game is $4.99. That's right, all this glory, all this ass kicking, all these towers, all of this great shit, which is good shit by the way, for $5. So me, I mean, I've bought a lot of games off Steam. If you saw my Steam account, you just go, holy shit, what are you, a game crack addict? But no, I've just been doing this forever and ever since Steam came out, I really like the idea. So ever since they've been out, I've been buying my games through there. So I mean, my list is pretty substantial. But for five bucks, I don't think I've ever purchased a more fun and cool game than Defense Grid The Awakening. And the cool thing about it as well is if you want to keep playing and you like it, they got lots of DLCs for just a couple more dollars that you can add to it. So at the end of the day, I just want to say to you guys, hey, check this out. If you like tower defense strategy and you really like a game that you can just sit and click your mouse and bullshit up, Defense Grid The Awakening is an awesome way to start, and it's only $5, and in my opinion, the best $5 I've ever spent on Steam. 
that all said, I'll see you guys later.